This is the head of the 8-foot, 305-pound mako shark that Tom Rostrin and Clint Simic caught off the Jersey Shore recently. And while the sea was not angry that day, my friends, this mako was. This shark charged the boat immediately. Tom and Clint were about 35 miles off the coast of Manasquan, New Jersey, fishing for makos in the boat TNT when the big one bit. I'm hanging off the starboard side of the boat with the rod. I actually moved out of the way because when he jumped so close, and then he came up on the port side bow and just landed right in the boat. You heard him. As Tom reeled the Mako in, it went airborne, as Makos are known to do. But this one was feisty. It jumped once, twice, three times, and then a fourth, landing right on the bow of the boat. What were you guys doing, diving for cover back here? Yeah, we, <laughs> or trying we, to pick we up it? We were standing... <laughs> Right where you were standing, yeah. we were standing there, and we both said to each other, he's in the freaking boat. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the freaking boat, and that was it. We used to he's on the boat. Words. We used a couple other words to describe it. but uh, It's like from yeah. Jaws, we need a bigger boat. Yeah. They were in the back trying to get the mad Mako under control, which was chomping on everything it could. Brooms, the hull, anything. Look at that, in the shape of one of its teeth right there. It even left one behind. Finally, Clint got a tail rope on it, and Tom stuck it with a gaff, a pole with a hook on the end. Once I knew I had the head under control, he was able to then put the tail rope on. And they managed to without a scratch. And finally, the fight was over, and they got their trophy, 305 pounds of Mako shark steaks, and a picture on the Bubba Coos Burrito Restaurant Anglers Hall of Fame. In Manasquan, New Jersey, John Huddy, Fox 5 News.